All right, guys. Uh, what I'm going to show you here today is how to reprogram uh, an ECU uh, using clip on a Reno. Uh, the car we are working on is um, a Reno Scenic 1.5 diesel DCI. Um, the, I've, I've, I've checked, and um, for the clip version I do have, uh, there is a, an available uh, software update for the engine ECU. Um, so the first screen you have is this screen here. It's a bit of clear in there. It's a little bit of clear. So this is the first screen when you open clip. So what we need to do is we're going to go to reprogram, which is that clear chip in there, and you press reprogramming. Obviously, I've filled in the RO already which stands for repair order. You can put whatever you want in there. I usually fill in with zero. So you press next. And obviously from the list of ECUs you might want to update we're going to go to injection and we press validate um, it worth to mention that obviously the battery uh, voltage need to stay at a certain level um, what I have at the moment is I have uh, some cables um, connected to another car so to keep the battery voltage um, this is the first screen afterwards, uh, the vehicle technical specification, you don't need to put nothing there, you can leave it blank. And you validate. Now it tells you that you need to make sure the vehicle is charging and, uh, and the tool is connected to the mains. Okay, now we press next. checking the voltage now we ask you obviously we don't have that so we're gonna have to go see the ROM and we found this update here we'll select that update and we press validate now it gives you a, a programming code which is in there and for you to get the out code you need to open this little software which I've done already you open reprog you put the request code in there so 734 4 zero, six, six. And we calculate the code that's the code And we press validate and the program starts uh, I don't know if you can hear the fan full throttle there's a few alarms that starts to come up because obviously the ECU is kind of uh, completely disconnected from the network when it does this so you get all these faults okay Uh, we are now 50% through the reprogramming process and we are going for about 10 minutes now look for about 10 minutes uh, the whole process should take about 10 20 minutes give or take uh, so the 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 reprogramming is finished uh, so there's a few things that we need to do now it's asking to do like uh, entering the VIN again um, entering uh, throttle stop programming if it depends on engine if there is one um, program injection immobilize a code most of the times this stays on anyway um, but uh, I'll just follow this so I'll press OK on this I'll press next so as you can see there's a lot of 
data here that tells you what happened. Press finish. That's gonna exit now. Okay. And now we're gonna do that one. We're gonna do computer test. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the diagnosis process and uh, we're gonna then put the new uh, the VIN number again if it's blank in there uh, and uh, and that's it guys uh, just to let you know this uh, reprogramming process is the same for any Reno it's exactly the same uh, if you want to reprogram a different ECU um, the at the start menu of the reprogramming you will ask which ECU you want to do so you select another ECU and uh, if the ECU if the software on the ECU is higher or equivalent to the one you have on your CD the, the, the clip will tell you that and uh, will abort the update um, so this is how you reprogram ECU in this case it was not to fix any problems uh, it was purely to show you um, how to do a reprogramming using clip so it's finished so just gonna check so there's no faults on the injection, which is good. No faults. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go in there, see if the VIN stills. So that's it. The VIN stills in there. So we don't need to do nothing really. So all the data is here. So that's it, guys. This is how you do a, a reprogramming. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions, please just put them below.